Hello everybody, welcome back to Chibi Robo. So, I don't really know what we're gonna do this episode. Actually, yeah, I do. We're gonna visit the mom and dad's bedroom and Jenny's room again. Scrap trade, we can get some scrap or some cash. Uh, what else? Nothing really to buy. We may have actually reached the point where money or moolah in this case really isn't useful. There's like nothing left to buy. <laughs> oh well, it's nighttime, folks. Actually, it just occurred to me, I believe we can finish the free ranger training now. We're good to go! The rescue plan to save Memphis is complete! Are you ready for war, General Chibi Robo? Lead the charge to save Memphis! If you fall in battle or retreat from the backyard, we'll have to start over. Head to the field of battle! The backyard! Listen carefully, everyone! Memphis may still be alive! And if he is, it's very likely that he's trapped in the enemy's collar! The terrifying darkness would crack braver men than Memphis! We need to save him as soon as possible! First! We need to lure Tao over here! Private Chibi Robo, bark at him to call him! A reliable soldier stays alive! See that courage, man? He embodies the spirit of the Free Rangers! Next! That's where we come in! We surround Tao so he can't move! Tao will resist, but we will charge him anyway! Lastly! Private Chibi Robo, this is your next task! Shoot the bobble on Tao's test collar! If you complete your mission successfully, we can free Memphis! Be quiet! Remember, don't forget these words! You guys! Alright, enough sentimental claptrap! Private Chibi Robo, zero hour is upon us! Time to call a Tao! Bark for us! Private Chibi Robo, don't leave us! And that's an order! I barked! Stay in formation! Oh, I just have to do it three times. It's almost time! Our hours of hard training will finally pay off! It felt like forever, come to think of it. We lived in fear of Tao. Each day brought a new peril, being bitten, trampled, drooled on, covered in foul slobber, shaken down for bones. This is the final showdown! Don't crack! Listen, everyone! Don't underestimate your opponent! Did someone say you need more men? Don't forget your fly, boys! Count me in! Rock and roll! Yar! Keel Hall the Beast! The Scurvy Splinter! Cutting your real treasure! 
is the spirit of these fine men. Chibi Robo! Shoot the collar now! side quest. Sarge just gave you 66 happy points. Memphis just gave you 66 happy points. The Free Rangers just gave you 66 happy points. Tao just gave you 66 happy points. Spread the happiness. Oh, you got the Free Rangers sticker. You really are amazing, Chibi And that's the Free Rangers side quest. That's a good side quest. I really like that one. Great ending. Also pretty engaging for the whole thing. And it ties together really nicely. Yeah, you can't actually do the final chapter of the Free Rangers side quest. You can't do that until you actually, um, what's it called? Until you actually get the pirate ship back and get all four of the pirates recruited for Captain Plankbeard. Otherwise, they can't show up. Alright, what was I going to do? And me. Oh, that's right. The treasure chest that we couldn't get in the daytime because the dad was here. <laughs> the scurry splinter was probably on their way to get it, so... Gotta hurry. Even though we're not actually on a time limit. Alrighty, what's in this tre treasure chest? Oh, um, hi, you're an actual living thing. Hmm. <laughs> What be that? I think it was Kid Eggplant. So this here be some kind of treasure? Well, whatever. My business be finished here, yar. Phew, I am saved. It's been a while since I've had fresh air. Are you the one who saved me? Yep. I am the exalted Kid Eggplant. I owe you a great debt. In return, I will turn you into an eggplant. You want to become an eggplant? No. Ah. What a well-mannered little gentleman. I like you, kid. That's why I want you to have this. It's the best thing ever. Poof! You're an eggplant! <laughs> well, what do you think? You look great. And the ladies love eggplant. No, they don't. Eggplant's a disgusting vegetable. Well, at least I hate it. <laughs> You don't like it? Well, ain't that something? Mm. 
Here we go. Since your face has an unhealthy pallor, I will give you the Prince of Vegetables, the ultimate food. Worship its purple pallor. We get the super eggplant. High in nutrition, most nourishing of all vegetables kingdom. And don't tell me you don't eat eggplant. I don't want to hear it. I don't eat eggplant, though. I hate eggplant so much. <laughs> ah, well, do as you like. Farewell. <laughs> oh! You got the Ken Eggplant sticker! You really are amazing, Chibi Robo. Well, that's one of the weirdest fins in the game, right up there with Mr. Prawns. <laughs> I love how he turns you into an eggplant randomly and it's just like, oh, you don't like it? Okay, changes you back, just gives you a super eggplant, a vegetable with lots of nutrition. We still have the love letter. That's, that, ain't that a pip? Hey, bird. I think I'm malnourished. I, I gotta say, I'm not happy about it, chirp. I need a vegetable that's super duper nutritious, you dig? Well, I got just the thing. A super eggplant. Oh my gosh! That's it! An eggplant! Will you give it to me, Chirp? I mean, I just did, so... Yummy! Awesome, Chirp! That bird is enormous. So nutritious, Chirp! You've been such a big help! Thanks to you, I've grown up to maturity. I'm sorry for being so selfish all the time, Chirp. But take this as a sign of my thanks, Chirp. You got a hundred happy points! Spread the happiness! Oh! You got the bird sticker! You really are amazing, Chibi Robo. <laughs> now then, adieu, Chirp! I'm off to see the world! Now yeah, we never see the bird again. You know, get a bird's eye view! Happiness is like a bird. It's got to fly free. Glad you're so happy, man. <laughs> and I love how the pirate ship is now just flying around outside. I want to see if we can give Sophie's letter to Drake Redcrest. And one and two and one and two. Hiya! Wa qua! Space Hunter Drake Redcrest. Hmm. Hello, Space Hunter Robo! Ha 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 ha! You heard her too, eh? Yes, she is one good-looking princess. Still, I didn't realize that dead flowers made a good gift. Drake Redcrest has much to learn. Only then can justice truly prevail. Mostly I'll study a new technique. If I am able to master it, I am sure the lovely princess will be impressed. But for now, I must return to my training. Space Hunter Robo, you've got just what I need. Well, he is out of gunpowder, so let's give him the gunpowder. We've had it for a while. That's it! That's it! My pose would be useless without gunpowder! This is- this toy uses gunpowder? What kind of a toy is this? <laughs> this is back in the days when they used lead paint for baby carriages, isn't it? Alright! My super pose is ready again! Now that's justice! Justice is ally! Space Hunter Drake Redcrest! Space Hunter Code Part 7! Gunpowder costs one moolah per use! Be frugal! Grazzy! Space Hunter Robo! Space Hunter Drake Redcrest just gave you 66 happy points! Spread the happiness! But can I give him the letter? And one and two and one and two! Space Hunter Drake Redcrest! Hello, Space Hunter Robo! A true defender of justice would have learned this move already! Blast and double blast! But for now, I must return to my training. By the way, Space Hunter Robo, if you've picked up anything, I'll take it! Oh, well, I do have a love letter. This mission was very important! Good work! Justice has an ally, and his name is Chibi Robo! This is from the dog toy. You got five happy points! Spread the happiness! Grazi, Space Hunter Robo! Oh, wait. Um. 
So I hope the dog toy was okay with me doing that. <laughs> or is he literally just like, I'll throw this in the garbage for you later! I'll give you happiness points for letting me throw this in the garbage! That's just how great of a guy I am! Well, dog toy's up in the kitchen. Let's break the good news to her. I know you were too embarrassed to give it to your, uh, him yourself, so I gave it to him for you! <laughs> When is the Great Pico going to be in the, the fish bowl again? Oh dear, I've dropped it again. Does love make one clumsy? Oh, are you trying to peek at my diary? That's so rude. Oh, it's you, Chibi Robo. Did you hear? Oh, of course you did. Yes, it's true. I lost it again. Please find it before anyone else does. Hmm? Somehow I doubt that I will ever see it again. I guess I'll start writing a new one. <laughs> I just know Chibi Robo has already <laughs> given it to the one of my mom, the my one true love. Okay, this is ridiculous. I've looked all over the kitchen. I've played this game before and I can't find the last Chibi door. <laughs> So I've gotten them all in the backyard, and I've gotten them all in the basement, and I've got them, gotten them all in the bedroom. So I'm missing living room, foyer, kitchen, and Jenny's room. Actually, yeah, there's the one in Jenny's room that I couldn't get last time. Alright, first I'm off to the bedroom. Um, first I'm off to the bedroom. <laughs> Why is it so quiet in here? I thought Funky Phil was going to be getting his funk on. Hey, Dinah. Roar! What you got today, Dinah? How's my favorite Lego dinosaur doing? Great tumbling tumbleweeds! Oh, it's you, Chibi Robo! You done scared me silly! I bet this old lady's face looked like something out of the funny papers. I bet you it did. Anyway, forget about all that! Take a look over yonder! The little feller didn't want to cause a ruckus, so he's off dancing by himself. I don't know nothing about fancy dancing, but any fool can say he's trying his best. And he's so doggone tiny, too. I got a mess of respect for him. I know where my eyes are going, but his pose looks the same as everyone else's to me. I reckon it takes an expert to see these things. And I'm just a simple old dinosaur. That darn Drake Redcrest pose. He look, it looks easy, but it's got more twists and turns than a stick of licorice in a twister. Great galloping glaciers. I almost forgot to tell you. I saw one of them fortune telling shows on the TV this morning. And let me tell you, Funky's horoscope was darker than a pot of chili in a gold mine. Oh, no one believes horse. Actually, no, people do believe horoscopes. And that's dumb. Horoscopes are dumb. <laughs> this old dinosaur's got a bit worried. You looking funky right now? And that flower's shining like a gold nugget. Being able to dance with that passel of sprouts has made him happier than Mr. Sanderson at the sci-fi convention. But if it were something to happen to him, I wouldn't know what to do. And that's straight from my heart. He's one of those newfangled toys, but his heart's as pure as the driven snow. It's rare to see one of his kind these days. That's why I... That's why I want to get Funky and those little fellas out under the sun and let him dance. I'm just an old dinosaur with grimpy arms and a brain the size of a refried bean. But I really do want to grant him this one simple wish. I know I might be asking too much of you. But when the time comes, would you help me? Let's keep this between the two of us, though. Don't be blabbing about it to anyone, you hear? Sure thing, Dinah. I like Dinah. Also, you'll remember that Captain Plankbeard said that Giga Robo was missing a leg? We can't reactivate him until we get the missing leg. And he said he put it in a steel suitcase. It's this suitcase. It won't open if you don't know the correct password. But yeah, we need the password in order to open it. So that's kind of the last thing we have to do before we can bring Giga Robo back. We need his leg. Hey, bro. 
You're having trouble with the Drake Redcrest pose? It's like this. You have gunpowder too? Hops, it's so cute. Oh, that just drained my battery. I keep forgetting that the Drake Redcrest pose takes so much battery. Get back! Get back! Thank you, Phil. Uh. That's not what you want to see. Chibiromo really looks angry when he's wearing this suit. Oh, that was close! It took me a while to figure out you had to pose as Drake Redcrest right next to the Freaky Phil to advance this storyline. Even though they're like, he's trying to learn the Drake Redcrest pose. <laughs> But I didn't think anything would happen because there was no exclamation point icon next to him. And normally, there, when you something happens, there's an exclamation point icon. <laughs> Funky Phil! <laughs> Funky Phil, I'm talking to you! <laughs> Funky Phil! Can you hear me, Funky Phil? What in tarnation's going on? I want to know what's happened to Funky Phil. Shorty. Everybody. Will somebody please tell me what the tarnation's go wrong with Funky Phil? Why, that's plum impossible! You said you was gonna dance with everyone. Why aren't you moving? You have big bowl of beans? Shirobo! What's going on? What's all the commotion about? Funky Phil's a goner! He died just like that! Hold on a second! How could someone so funky die? It's just not possible. Never mind the fact that he's a toy, but um, no, it's because he's so funky that it makes no sense. Also, it looks like Mrs. Sanderson's crying about this too. You're all just trying to scare me, is that it? You just want to see me cry. I won't be fooled too easily. Oh my goodness. His screen turned blue. He blue screened of death. No, Telly, don't you die too? His heartbeat. He's, he's dead. This can't be true! He can't be dead. He just can't be. This is the worst joke ever. So, the grieving period began, and continued into the night. It looks like everyone has passed out. I bet they cried themselves to sleep. Dino looks so sad! This... <laughs> I forgot how, like, depressing this part of the game is. Holy cow. I'm going back to the chibi house! <laughs> Blimey, Harry! You nearly got killed! Well, I'm going over to bed. <laughs> you 
No, no, no. We're going to get some 200 Chibi Robo. Oh! I hear it's good to take a break once every two hours. Bye. Well, I, I don't play for two hour sessions, so that's okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Dinah. <laughs> Phil's gone to the great chili cook-off in the sky. <laughs> flowers, flowers. Boom! Jinrobo! I think it's going to take some time for Dinah to bounce back from this. Why don't we come back tomorrow? Um, probably a good idea, Telly. Good on ya. Man, never thought you'd feel so bad for a plastic dancing <laughs> flower toy and a Lego dinosaur, huh? Holy cow. Yeah, I told you, this game is like emotional and kind of intense at the same time, but it's so good. It's all, it has just enough... Just enough. It's mostly entirely, like, insanely quirky and hilarious, and then it's got a few kind of gut-wrenching moments like that. But that's what makes it such a memorable game, and such an enjoyable one. It's got all the emotions. It's like Inside Out. Actually, now that I think about it, Inside Out, like, quite literally had all the emotions. <laughs> Both as characters and also just in the movie. Can I please fly over here? Yes! 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 I did it! I did it! I did it! Okay. Whew. We're finally going over to the freaking water fountain. It's possible. It's just really difficult. Because if you're right at the edge of that platform, it's like, oh, you want to grab onto rope? And hover and, like, slide down it? It's like, no. Okay, so we climb up here. <laughs> it's a ladder. And you remember this this is the space tunnel that we passed through during the Space Scrambler minigame. Hello, Jimmy Door. I love how the Sandersons took the time to paint the inside of this vent with stars. <laughs> Come on, honey, it's gonna be great. <laughs> We're not dangerous, dangerous. First off, Chibi Radar. Don't want to miss anything. Nope. Alright, so it's aiming downwards. Frog ring down here. Oh, we can't reach yet, though. And also, thankfully, being in the water doesn't actually drain your energy really fast or anything. Which is good, but also unrealistic. <laughs> but I'm, I'm just glad it's not like, you touched the water! Psh! Instant game over. somewhere on here. Ah, oh, here it is. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll just hide the off switch behind this <laughs> sunshine sticker, honey. No one will ever know. Turn off the water. Second to last frog ring. We got it! Still have three more chibi doors, though. Holy cow. Alright, there might be a little bit we can do in Jenny's room. I think now we have to talk to Mort. Because I forgot to do that last time.
Oh no, never mind. Oh no, stop, stop, you'll break it. Never mind, I think we're at the end of the Princess Pits Mort storyline, actually. <laughs> Sunshine Smash! Sweetie Bear needs nectar! No, no, stop! You'll break it! Oh, Chibi Robo! That horrible bear is destroying my castle! I just can't live like this anymore! Please find someone who will help me! Oh, no, stop, stop! You Just stop saying the same thing over and over again. Hey, bro, maybe we should sit this back and talk. <laughs> Do I still have flower nectar? Ah, it's water. Take that! <laughs> Doesn't even care. On guard! Okay. Sorry, lady. Did all I could. Hey, Mort. You can kill things just by touching them, right? Touch the bear! Put it out of its misery. What do you want from me? Mm -hmm. What? What's this? An earthquake? Gah! All conditions normal! You're the worst! Great smoking crater monkeys! You there, bear! Hold, fiend! I have gunpowder now! Who the heck are you?! Ha 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 ha! My name is. Space Hunter Drake Redcrest! Uh oh. Amazing Force Shield of Forcefulness! left and right in this game now, huh? Well, death's a part of life. What can you do? <laughs> but it's for the sake of Princess Pits. There is no other choice. There is a switch on my back. I beg of you, hit the switch! That red one? Okay, man. It actually looks kind of creepy when his eyes aren't lit up. So did Jenny buy more? Or is this their parents' toy? Or like, what is this exactly? Lotso, you've gone too far this time. <laughs> That's way creepier than the demon face he has. Oh man, you can't buy entertainment like that! Okay, there's something seriously wrong with that bear. I did it. I can only use that move once in a lifetime. The Super Miraculous Mort Surprise Version 2. The dreaded SMM and SV2. That was too many ads. Anyway, Princess Pits. You got this, man. Come on. You're a nice guy. <laughs> okay, that's that's really sweet. <laughs> Mort. Oh, the bear? You drove him away. 
I knew you would come to rescue me. Now I can finally ask you. Mort. Were you the one who brought me flowers? Princess Peach just gave you 100 happy points! Mort just gave you 100 happy points! Spread the happiness! Oh! You got the Mort and Princess sticker! You really are amazing, Chico! That's like the fifth sticker we've gotten this episode! That's insane! <laughs> this game is so freaking good. Alright, the stickers. Yeah, we now have the, the bird sticker. Free Ranger sticker, Morton Princess sticker, Kid Egg Point sticker. Okay, I guess we've gotten... Four in this video. Hey, uh, are you okay? Are you still alive? Space Santa Code Part 8. Justice never wavers. Okay, Barry, we gotta talk. Winnie the Pooh, this is, this is not okay. I was freaking out again, Chibi Robo. I want to cure my nectar problem, but I can't do anything about it. <sighs> if only I had the nectar from the flower that grew in this house way back when. I have the seed, but it takes ten years for it to bloom. That's why I'm gonna give it to you, Chibi Robo. Uh, you know I'm not a Time Lord, right? Legendary flower seed. I think I can get straight if I, I think I can get straight if I have that legendary flowers nectar. But will it really take ten years? That's too long. Are, is this just a ploy to be like, oh man, this is the best nectar. If I do that, I'll totally be cured. It actually gives him just like the biggest or whatever. Am I gonna have to censor that out? I'm, I'm gonna have to censor that out. So where did Mort and the princess go? There and you're here! Howdy! Sup, girl! Oh, my sweet bandage, darling. My horrific Hercules. My wrapped up Romeo. I won't let you go. Why did you say that to me? Hey, Mort. You got the girl. My dream has come true. I can hardly believe it. It's all thanks to you, my friend. Thank you so much. Yes, why that's... Oh yeah! We never gave him any of this stuff. Um... So there's this ticket stub we found in the bedroom. <laughs> we were supposed to show him this earlier. Because this actually, like, kind of tells you what to do for this side quest. This is the movie where I play a hero. Do you want to hear about the movie? Yes. Yeah, this makes way more sense before you complete the side quest. I was once the star of the film. The Sandersons took me under their wing after they saw the movie on their first date. Ah, That's actually kind of cute. So he is the parent's toy. This brings back memories. In the movie I met a beautiful woman. I could have drowned in her eyes. Way to say this right in front of your new girlfriend. Oh, the, the girl in the movie was great. <laughs> also, this is a weird accent I'm doing more. I felt hard for her. Like a stack of sarcophagi. A bit like in this hieroglyphic here. What? Yeah. Jenny, are you drawing Egyptian hieroglyphics under your bed? What great memories. Mort just gave you 66 happy points! Spread the happiness! Yeah, he talks a little bit more about, like, how you scare Princess Pitts in the hieroglyphics, because there's, like, the images of her being like, ah, in the castle. There's images of a ghost scaring her, which is, like, leading you to scare her as the ghost. Yes, why that's... Yeah, and the second thing we should have given you a while back, we got these, this bandage that I found in the kitchen. Ooh, bandages. Can I have those? Yeah! It's been 1,800 years since I've had new bandages. 
Oh my gosh, I just got like a thousand happy points today. Mark just gave you 66 happy points, but then I also lost a thousand by uh, having Funky Phil die. It, it's it's bad. Spread the happiness. That could be interesting in the future GB Robo game if it's like there are unhappiness points that where if you do bad things, like it removes happy points from you. That could be an interesting gimmick. I'm so very thankful. This is the happiest day of my life. Yeah, I'm not surprised. You got to remember your movie, you got the bandages, and you got the girl! <laughs> but if it was the happiest day of your life, you would think that, like, I don't know, you'd give me, like, 10,000 happy points. I'm probably gonna run out of time, but I might as well try to get that last chibi door again. Even though I'll pr almost certainly run out of battery by then. But it's okay, because I'm also almost certainly going to run out of time by then. Plus, I think there's an outlet up... Maybe not. Wait, is it, does Jenny's room just have one outlet? <laughs> Could be. Well, you know what? If I run out of battery, I run out of battery. Because I can always buy the backup battery again. I'm gonna run out of time, though. Darn it! Just not enough time! Blast! Chibrolo, do you need some quiet time, good old television? Oh! Sorry, was that inappropriate? It's okay, I had to censor one of my words today, Telly. Oh! Good morning! Let's adjust your happy point total. Did I go up one or two ranks? Because I got like a thousand happy points today. Your achievement ranking's gone from six to five! Okay, just one rank. For making it into the top five! You said yourself to spend this move. <laughs> Do I even need to say this? Heard it a lot. Would you look at that? Your battery power went up to 320. <laughs> Free 20. In order to get the next bonus battery, you need 283 more happy points. That's not that many. If you're ever going to become Super Chibi Robo, you need some advice, namely mine. If you need to dig a hole in the planter, perhaps a spoon might come in handy. I kind of know that already. While you're here, Chibi Robo, would you like to say, yeah, we accomplished a ton in this video. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. There's not a whole lot left for me to do, to be honest. Uh... I can hope that the great Pico shows up in the kitchen so I can give him the freaking snorkel and goggles. Uh, there's still one more, one or two more Lego bricks I need to collect, but I don't think I can do, do those until after the main quest is finished. Um, nothing, I, I can get the last, I guess I could go chibi door hunting? Besides that, there's really not a lot for me to do, so tomorrow actually might be kind of a boring video, but then we'll really start kicking it into high gear, I think. So until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.